Well, the, the thing about our uh, school choice programs, and look, it's, it's not about you know, different races and ethnicities, but the reality is uh, the vast, vast majority of recipients uh, have been either African American or Hispanic. I mean, that's just the reality. And um, part of that is a reflection of Florida's demographics, uh, but part of it, I think, is just a reflection that you know, we really want to have no barriers for anyone, regardless of their circumstances. And when you're looking at folks who, you know, Corey mentioned where, where he grew up and how it made a difference to be in that better school, uh, we just want to make sure that, that folks have the ability to make the most of their God-given talents, and, and this, these scholarships help do that. But I would also say and put in a plug for our charter schools. As many of you know, charter schools are public schools. They're not, they're not private scholarship schools, so they get tax money, but they're not controlled by the school districts and really are not influenced by, by the education unions and the school unions the way the school districts are. So they're able to be a little bit more nimble. They're, they're able to experiment. And here's the thing. They either offer a product that parents want or, that parents want or they don't. And if they don't offer a product, it's kind of like, um, you know, Yogi Berra when they asked about low attendance for baseball. He says, well, if people don't want to come to the ballpark, no one's going to stop them. And it's just like you can't have, if parents aren't bu buying what you're selling, then you're just not going to get the enrollment and it's just not even going to work. So they have an incentive to do things that are going to be appealing. If you took just our charter school population, 360,000 plus, and, and it is disproportionately uh, racial and ethnic minorities in that. Uh, it performs better than, like, you know how many states. You know, some of you guys know it's like it would be one of the top performing states in America if just our charter population uh, was rated as a separate state. And so that's when you know that, that, that these things have been positive. And here's just what I would say as governor. Uh, I don't care what part of the state you're from. I don't care your family circumstances. I don't care your race, ethnicity. You can succeed in Florida. You can succeed in America. And we're, our goal is to make sure that you have the tools you need to be able to do that. But don't let anyone tell you you can't do it. Uh, we don't want that in our classrooms to try to say someone can't, can't succeed. No, everybody can succeed. And I think what we've done has been living proof of that. And then finally, just the, some of the phony narratives that, that you hear you know you're on the right track when they can't argue against you on the substance. It's not that hard to just pick out, you know, we put out one sheets about the bills I sign. You can pick out legislation and just read what it is. And if that's something that's really problematic, you would point to that legislation and you would say, look at this, this is bad. But they don't do that. They don't do what actually is being done. They try to concoct phony narratives. So you actually had somebody in Congress claim that, Duval County Schools does not allow books about Rosa Parks. And he pointed to a book and he said, I searched for that. They did not have this book. And so the school system actually responded on social media and said, well, we have 14 other books about Rosa Parks. We just didn't have that one because you have to make choices about what you do. But they were trying to do a narrative that somehow that would not be appropriate in Florida schools, which is absurd. So the more they do things that are just ridiculous, the more that they try to do these phony narratives, that should give you comfort to know that we're getting the substance right. Because if we were getting the substance wrong, they would be attacking the actual substance of the bills, and they're not doing that, and they're not able to get that done. Governor? 